And welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day. It's Monday the 9th of October. We trust you had a great weekend. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US equities were positive on Friday, despite that non-farm payrolls number being hotter than expected. But really, all has changed in terms of market sentiment for right now in light of the Middle Eastern conflict, the escalation between Israel and Gaza has impacted on many asset classes, uh, not least, of course, oil, which gapped up 4.5% on market open today. US futures, as a result of that, also are lower in Asian trading, or slightly off the lows. Asian markets are generally following that US lead, with the exception of the Nikkei. China's reopened after a week on holiday and looking a little shaky in early trading. The ASX is managing to hold on to gains just under half of a percent with energy and gold stocks outperforming. A little bit of flight to safety going on into the US dollar and gold, as well as energy stocks, obviously. Uh, the VIX bounced off the 200 MA in light of that uncertainty. And despite the US dollar index falling from multi-month highs, potentially testing short-term support on Friday by the end of the session, we are seeing again some flight to safety strength today. Uh, gold bounced on Friday after that USD weakness, and it also has gapped up in Asia. So we're seeing the US dollar and gold move together. Copper also bounced on Friday with some follow through in Asian trading so far. And despite all dropping again on Friday to near 200 EMA, it's bounced today on that Middle Eastern news, as I've already stated from over the weekend. Bitcoin's still trading around resistance at around about 27,800. And the IMF meeting starts today, despite it being Columbus Day in the US, the NYSE is open. Not much data to talk about today. We've got German industrial production. Eurozone investor confidence, which may affect the euro. Later on this week, the two highlights are the FOMC meeting minutes on Wednesday and Thursday's US CPI. Big number this week, be worth keeping an eye on market response to that. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. RMS was our chart of the day at the back end of last week, and you can see it closed quite high to finish the session. You can see it's spiking up again in trading today. These are obviously in the gold space. Not moved much since open, trading within a fairly tight range, but you can see that gap up there. In terms of where this might go, assuming we get a continued buy-in into gold, then in the short term, we might expect it up as high as around about 182, uh, which would be a significant 12% up from where we are now. So certainly one to continue to keep an eye on. Worthwhile checking in on where this sits in terms of the price handle relationship at the back end of the trading session today. In the FX world, the Canadian dollar is looking strong on the back of that increase in oil prices. We are actually liking the GB pound Canadian dollar as a short term trade. You can see it is supported around about this 166.70 level. We're testing that right now, which corresponds to the low of the Asian session. So we've got a line in the sand there at around about 166.62. And we see a possible move down here. You can see how this was straight down, straight up on Friday. So that could be the potential there. That's a return of around about 40 pips plus. Uh, so one to worth, one worth keeping an eye on, perhaps when the European session opens this afternoon. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.